Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, and on to our next guest. He's won Opportunity Knox three times. He went via the good old days to the comedians and holds an unusual record for the longest stunned silence when he was surprised by the big red book from This Is Your Life. His tireless charity works earned him a papal knighthood and he became a knight of the Order of St. Gregory in a private audience with the Pope. When the Pope asked what he thought uh, of the honour, he replied, Your Holiness, it's a cracker. It can only be the one and only Frank Carson. I had nowhere else to go. <laughs> but um, actually in here, I met one of the all-time greats of comedy. I met Tommy Cooper. And he was doing a crossword puzzle. He said, I'm never going to buy The Guardian again. I said, why not? He said, the clues are getting more difficult. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, he's giving a clue to yesterday. I couldn't get it. And it was, flightless bird found in Iceland, six and seven. I said, what was the answer? He said, frozen chicken. I was on a program the other day, a radio show with Don French, and I said, when I was a kid in Belfast, I played the mouth organ, and somebody stole it. I said, it was my favorite musical instrument at school. And I said to her, when you were at school, did you have a favorite musical instrument? She said, yeah, the dinner bell. I was coming out of Euston Station two days ago. It was pouring with rain. There was a man sitting on the steps begging. He had a cap between his knees and a sign behind him, Falklands War Victim. I said, what the hell sort of a government have we got? A man willing to give his life for his country, reduced to begging. I was disgusted. I threw 20 pounds into his cap. He said, gracias, senor. Do you remember those two dreadful winters we had? Mike and Bernie. <laughs> and I loved the Tony Blair, Blair expression. Education, education. Where the hell do you get a plumber? We had a burst pipe in my house six weeks ago. Yellow pages. John O'Hanlon, plumber, 24 hours. I couldn't believe it. A Friday night, half 11. No chance. He was out in an hour. I said, thank you, Mr. Hannah, up in the bathroom. An hour later, I went up to see how he was doing. The bloody place was flooded. I said, how long have you been a plumber? He said, 24 hours. <laughs> and I'd just like to tell the people who were up in front of me, Anybody that any, ever wants to travel with Paddy Crewland is mad. Because <laughs> I did, and I'll get you, I'll let you tell, tell Paddy to tell it to you himself. I travelled all the way from Plymouth to Manchester with him. And this man got into the train with two ladies, and we were travelling first class. And he lifted the bag, Paddy's bag, and slung it into a corner. Fortunately, I realized what Quirinth was like and stopped him biting this man. Never mind that. Here's another one. <laughs> now, I'd just come back three days ago from the Middle East. I was on a tour of the Middle East in the Far East. And I was in Dubai. And I was invited to a Muslim strip club. <laughs> and they were shouting, show us your face. And then I went to Taiwan. I, was in, I bought these shoes in Taiwan. It said on the inside, 
meet around the corner. <laughs> I brought them back. I said, there's only one lace in these shoes. He said, well, it says on the box, Taiwan. <laughs> I walked into this restaurant, and there was two Brits there. And one of them said, can we have your autograph, Mr. Carr? I said, certainly. So I was writing on the menu, and this fellow came from behind the bar. He said, why are you write on menu? <laughs> he was a Geordie. <laughs> I said, they've asked me for an autograph. So I'm writing my name on the menu. What mean autograph? I said, they've seen me on television and they want me to write my name on the menu. He said, you be on television? I said, yes, I've been on television. What you be television? Don't wash that one. <laughs> Golf, rugby, football? I said, no, I'm a comedian. He said, oh, let me see you change color. Well, I looked at the menu and I said, I'd like some octopus. He said, octopus take three R. I said, why three R? He said, it keeps turning off the gas. <laughs> I'm looking here at one of my lifelong lovers, Honey Ford there. He was a beautiful little girl, now she's a beautiful woman, which is only about 16 or 17, and used to take down the scripts when he'd done Christ, I don't know, many years ago. But it was wonderful to see her here. She's come through a very traumatic time over all the years, and she's still smiling. And it's always a great pleasure to be in our company, our Gloria. You're gorgeous. And now, to finish off, a very funny story. Osama bin Laden captured four guardsmen, an Englishman, an Irishman, a Scot, and a Welshman. He said to the Welshman, what's your last request? He said, I want 400 toffees singing. We'll keep a welcome in the hillside. He said to the Scot, what's your last request? He said, I want... 400 pipers playing the northern lights of old Aberdeen. Said the Irishman, what's your last request? He said, I want 300 putties doing the river dance. <laughs> said the Englishman, what's your last request? He said, shoot me first. <laughs> um, I must say, even an absolutely lovely crowd and it makes you very proud to be an Irishman no matter what part of our country you come from and it's lovely settling with some of the very beautiful people that we meet in England especially if they're not a agents <laughs> two policemen knocked at the door John Williamson he said yes we took a DNA sample of your blood 12 weeks ago. We took a further sample last week. The blood we found 12 weeks ago on the dress of Martha Ashcroft was your blood. The blood we found on the hammer that bludgeoned this woman to death was your blood. We now arrest you for the murder of Martha Ashcroft and anything, he said, oh God, well, all my bloody life, just bad news, bad news. One of the detectives said, well, it's not all bad. He said, no, he said, no, your cholesterol's gone down quite a bit. <laughs> You've been a very lovely audience. And uh, just remember, it's not the joke. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. Frank Carson, the one and only.